Hello, Chris Richter here from Ricochet, and we're going to look at how to create a course, uh, set up an assignment and a quiz and gradebook, all within less than 10 minutes. So this is nice and compact and quick and short. Before I do, check out the courses on courses.ricochet.com.au. If you're interested in any of the Moodle LMS uh, training, I have in there a, a Moodle 4.0 course with over seven hours worth of training in there, plus a whole lot of other courses. So check all of those out. Great opportunity there. Have a look at it. Let me know what you think. And if you need any more help, let me know as well. Let's move on to the video for today, which is showing you how to create a course. I have logged in as a course creator. So the role I've been given is the role of being able to create a course. And you can see there our list of tasks to do. Let's work our way through them. First of all, we're going to create our course. We can go to site administration. You see, I only have a very minimal amount of items in there. I manage courses. So we go create course. This course will be called Introduction to Davy Animate for Education. Adobe Animate for Ed will be a short course or short name for the course. We then go in and put in a start date, which we'll leave as today. I will remove enable for the course end date because we don't want a closing end date. Then we'll scroll down and put in a course summary, which is learn to create animations for education using the Adobe Animate product, including how to export animations for your learning management system or to your learning management system. We need to put in our course image. Choose our course format, which by default we will leave as topics. For appearance, we're going to leave everything how it is. Files and uploads, we'll leave it all how it is. We need to make sure that enable completion tracking is on because we're going to use that. And then also show activity completion conditions. Leave that on so we can see what's going on there. Everything else we can leave the same. Save and display. Okay, we have our new course, Introduction to Adobe Animate for Education. We then need to put our topics in. So let's quickly drop those topics in. Then we can get on with the activities. For our topics, we just need to grab our list of what the topics are. So here we have our topics. Introduction will be topic one. So first thing, turn edit mode on. So we're ready to make changes to our topics. We'll leave the announcements in general because that area can be used for quite a few different things outside of the actual topics that we're using. So jump straight down to topic one. We can click on the little pencil icon beside the name paste in a new name, press enter, do this all the way down so that we can add all of our topics. There's our next one, Adobe Animate, settings, we then choose add a topic, working through the project. So that's where the, the main part of this course will sit is working through the project. So we'll create a heap of pages in there. Then we have a little section on testing, how to do that, add another topic, we're nearly at the end of our topics. Exporting, this is where we learn how to, the different formats for exporting content from Adobe Animate, importing into an LMS. And the last topic is technical issues because there often is, and I want to explain how to solve some of those. We now have all of our topics, edit mode off. You can see it's already there. We can now put in our pages and our content inside each of these topics. Now the very final thing that we didn't do yet, which we will add in as a separate page, is our assessment area. And this is where we'll put our assessments in our activities that relate to the whole course. So what happens at the end of it and they've completed everything, we'll put assessment slash activities. Now you could put the activities anywhere in the content as well, but we're going to put them there. So we've now got our topics in, jump straight to our assessments and activities. Our first activity be an assignment, we choose add an activity or resource, we choose activities and we have assignment. So we choose assignment and we will call this assignment one in the description uh, for the assignment. We just need to put in there what the assignment is all about and what they have to do. Let's have a look at our first assignment and what's actually in it. So our first assignment is to complete your version of the Adobe Animate project that we've got in this course. Upload the completed Illustrator file for review. Value is 100, pass 80, weighting 20%. So they're all the important things we need to do. So let's copy in the description so the student knows what they have to do. They need to complete their own version. Now I would redo these bullet points and take the bold off because I copied and pasted. Clean that up as you go. Make sure everything's nice and tidy. If you want to look in the code as well, go to the code view and you'll see in there, I've got a whole heap of rubbish in there that's not needed. Uh, you can go and clean all that up or you can go back and go control or cut and then shift paste back in. Uh, command shift paste or control shift paste. Redo the bullets and check your code again and you'll see this is a much neater it's still got a bit of that rubbish in at the end that's there because there's nothing inside that so let's just clean that out so it doesn't hurt to tidy up any of these weird 
uh, strange bits of code that are in there if you know what you're doing. Otherwise, move on forward. All right, we don't need any additional files. Our submissions from today is fine. We don't have a due date. We don't have a reminder grade to take all of those off. We don't need them yet. Now, this is a uh, upload their completed file. So yes, they need to do that. So file submissions is fine. Online text is optional. We can have that if we want. We don't have to. Uh, for this one, we don't need it. Or we can put in a file type if we prefer, which will be an Adobe Illustrator file. And if you need to find that, choose over here and then find.ai. There we go. It's got audio files, image files. And if we want to, we can expand our image files and have a look here. Do we have .ai? There we have. .ai is there for an Illustrator file. Jump down to our grade. Her maximum grade is 100, which is correct. There's 100. Our pass grade is 80. So let's do that. We don't need to worry about waiting yet. That comes when we do gradebook. Then we jump down to our activity completion and we do want to make this complete. Complete. The conditions will always be, or for our activity, it's not when they view it. They must receive a grade and they must receive a pass grade and they must submit to complete as well. So we're doing all of that. Like I said, I'm showing you what to do really quickly. Won't go into the explanation, save and display. All right, we have our first assignment in there. So now we need to go and do that with the rest of our assignments. So assignment two, jump in here. Assignment two, assignment two. These are the instructions. You can read them as I put them in. So I control shift paste and then bullet them. That gives us cleaner code. Jump down and remove these. We don't need them at the moment. It's uh, this one is draft your own idea, upload a drawing and a description of the activity. So we can put online text on there so they can put in the description if they like. No word limit. Accepted file types. Uh, in this case, it's draft your own idea, upload a drawing. So if we go to choose, we can go to image files and we'll accept any image file is fine. Jump down to grade. It's 100. Our pass grade is 80 again as well. We don't need to worry about waiting. Activity completion, same as before. Tick, 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 all of those. Must receive a grade, must receive a grade pass. Save and display. We have another assignment and a quiz. So let's put in our assignment three. The description for this, the assignment is complete your own incorporate fair working trainer, upload a video of the completed animation. So this is a video one. So this will be different again. Put in our instructions. Get rid of the dates. Uh, it's a file submission and it's a video file this time. So choose, uh, scroll down to video files used on the web. Here, video files. We'll just go with the video files. Uh, you can be more specific and say only a certain type if you prefer. I'll leave it at that. So they could record it on their phone and upload it if they wanted to. Okay, grade 100. Grade to pass is 80 again. It's a weighting of 50, which we'll fix up in a moment. Activity completion. Show activities as complete. Tick all of those boxes, save and display. That's our assignment. And our last one is an activity that is a quiz. So we're going to go to quiz. I won't put the questions in the quiz yet, but I'll just call it check your understanding quiz. And I'll put the description in there for now. Five questions relating to understanding Adobe. Go to grade. Grade to pass will be 100%. If our five questions are worth value of 10, two marks each, Grade to pass is 10. Okay, and activity completion will be activity complete when students receive a grade, they receive a pass grade. So they have to pass that. We now have our topics in there. We don't have any pages or content yet, but we have our three assignments and our one quiz. Next part is gradebook. So let's jump to gradebook. If we go to grades, which is the part of gradebook that we have access to, You'll see they have assignment one, assignment two, three, check your understanding, quiz, and then of course total. Let's go into the gradebook settings by going to gradebook and gradebook setup. And we'll need this back across here so we can have a bit of a look at what our weightings were for our quiz. So we're going to change off our assignments and for our quiz, we're going to change the weightings, all of them. So this one is 20% for the first one, 20% for the next one. The next one is worth 50% because that's the big assignment where they create their own. And then our last one is a weighting of 10%. So that should add up to 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Perfect. They're worth 100 each, 10, 
Of course, total is 310. That is absolutely fine. So we have, uh, just by the virtue of adding our assignments and adding our quiz to the course, it puts in a gradebook for us. Then we just need to do all our settings for that to make gradebook work. Last thing is our course completion. If we go to more and choose course completion, we can now decide what is a completion of the course. This is not the activity completion, but the completion of the whole course. So for them to complete the whole course, they have to pass or complete all of these based on that completion criteria for all four of those. So we tick all of that, click Save Changes. Now that we've completed all of the items on the list, we have our topics, we have our assignments, we have our quiz, and we have everything ready to go. All we need to do now is go through and put all the content in, and our course is virtually ready to go, other than putting in some students and giving it all a run. That's the very quick 10 minute version of how to create a course. Put your assignments in, uh, check Gradebook, set up Gradebook with our weightings and course completion, all done. Go for it. I hope you found that useful. My name is Chris Richter. Check out the courses on Moodle below and other online education courses as well in the description. And I'll see you in the next video.